Hello, it's another quick video from me, um, another one without camera because I still have a big red nose from a cold. I've had a couple of messages asking me how I do lair actions and legendary actions in Foundry um, that were kind of written and put to me in sort of a, oh, it's a shame Foundry can't handle them sort of thing. And they absolutely can. Um, legendary actions are made a little bit easier by having a module called D&D 5e Helpers, which I've covered in a previous video for how they interact with regeneration. But we're going to cover both of them here. So I'm using the Mad Cartographer's Gulfias tree map again. Um, I always like that I, it's one of my favourite maps to have in the background whenever I'm testing things out for Gulfias tree by Mad Cartographer. Um, I'm going to use our Harry Human, and I've also gone and made last boss larry um if i go into last boss larry i've done nothing with him so far except give him a picture and say that he has three legendary actions per turn i've also given him legendary resistance but i'm not going to cover that in this video um and ticks that he uses lair actions i've also after installing D D 5e helpers i've just ticked the option in here, start of turn, legendary actions reset. So that's all I've done. Oh, that should be on as well, but that's for another reason, that's for my campaign. Um, so, last boss Larry, I'm going to give him a couple of legendary actions. So I'm going to call this legendary slap. I'm not going to go through the full details of creating an ability because I've done that in a couple of videos before. But what I am going to say is that this costs one legendary action. Um, the target is going to be one creature. Uh, the resource consumption is going to be attribute leg act as a legendary action. You can set this up. Um, and not fill this part in, but by putting this in, it means that those three legendary actions will go down by one when we use it. So otherwise, you could find that you're accidentally using more legendary actions than you mean to. Um, obviously, as you'll know, legendary actions have a number of usages. So you might have um, last boss Larry might be able to take three legendary actions each turn. And he doesn't just have to have the one. He could have, you know, quite often there's something like an attack. A bit of a, you know, costs one. A movement or a special attack costs two. And then something really big and powerful can use three. By putting these attribute costs in, you make sure that you're not accidentally going to use the one that costs three and the one that costs two on the same turn. So it costs one legendary action. It targets one creature. I could go and put the range in if I want to. Five feet. And it uses the resources legendary action. Excellent. Uh, oh, sorry, yeah. It's a melee attack. But I'm not going to go and put all that in. That's fine. And we'll see it uses one legendary action. I'll do another one. Legendary Dash. This one costs two legendary actions. Target is just self. It uses attribute legendary actions two. And it's, I don't know, other. And then finally. ultimate slap. This uses three legendary actions. It targets all creatures within five foot. The resource consumption is legendary actions three and it's a melee attack. Okay. We also have layer actions. So layer actions happen on initiative count 20. Um, losing ties. 
So it's very easy to forget that. I've done that quite a few times over the years, and I might forget to use a legendary a lair action each turn, or sometimes, well, on one occasion, I went through an entire boss fight and forgot that they had lair actions because I wasn't getting those prompts. So I can just go and put something in here and say, you know, lair action mambo number five. I could put a lot of description in for that and say that this uses lair action. When it comes to combat, I'm going to let me just move this around. There we go. I'm going to put Harry Human and Last Boss Larry in the combat state. I'm going to begin combat and roll an initiative for both of them. I've got in here, as part of Combat Utility Belt, so CUB, the option to add Temporary Combatant. When I click on that, I can just put something here called Lair Action. I can call it Initiative 20, and I can click Hidden, so my players don't see it. And now I have a reminder in my Combat Log, whenever it rolls back around to 20, that a Lair Action needs taken. There's a few things that use those as well that aren't just initiative count 20. Um, you might have something environmental you want to happen. You might have that, you know, when a guard calls for help, reinforcements arrive on initiative 2. I believe, without going to fetch my book to check, in Rhyme of the Frost Maiden, I think for avalanches, an avalanche moves on initiative 15 and 5 or something like that. And it can be, again, good reminders for you. So combat starts, it's Larry's turn. He is going to approach Harry Human and as part of his turn, he's gonna use Legendary Slap. So in here, he currently has three Legendary Actions. It asks, do you want to use the Legendary Slap feat? Consume resource, yes. We make the roll and you'll see that our Legendary Actions have gone down by two. He's then going to use Legendary Dash. Again, we confirm we want to use the resource. He's used it. He's down to zero. If I now go to try and do something else, it warns me, nope, they, have, they don't have that attribute anymore. It's gone down to zero. So, last boss, Larry, finishes his turn. I click Next. We go on to Harry Human. Click Next. Layer Action. Next. We get back to Last Boss Larry, and you'll see Legendary Actions restored to 3 for Last Boss Larry, and the resource has increased. So you can just have those Legendary Actions replenish every time it gets around to that person's turn again. That's all there is, really. Legendary Actions, just make sure you have them set as Legendary Actions using up the resource. Lair Actions... They can just be set up. They don't have to be classified any differently. Uh, you only put down user's lair action. That's not mechanical. That's just so when you look at this, you see and you don't accidentally go and use it um, in the turn when you didn't mean to. So that is D&D 5e Helpers is the module for making sure that legendary actions replenish at the start of the turn. And Combat Utilities Belt Temporary Combatants module the plugin for that is how I dip the layer actions. Hope you found that useful. Leave a comment. Let me know if there's anything else you want to see. But otherwise, see you soon.